welcome, welcome, welcome to yet another video. Okay, so guys, this is the third episode of Dating a Zulu Guy at Your Own Heart break son date as a little guy at your own heartbreak okay <laughs> Sana, i i've seen the worst again hi guys i'm double these and i'm already drinking where are my minutes guys i've lost my minutes like literally lost my minutes because what the fuck okay so guys um if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much thank you so much guys it shows good in your entire and enjoy my videos and please don't forget to comment, like, share, and share with your friends, guys, because already you subscribe with Lemos. So please, please make sure your friend is subscribed, your family, you know. This is a safe space. And for my new, new, new subscribers, new viewers, new, if you're new here, welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to the family. You are welcome. Wednesday, 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 because same day one, so please don't forget to like, uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, especially if you're new to this channel, and also watch my previous previous videos, and also like, comment, and share on them, because you hooky to see that because you're not in the end, what you do on the left, also do on the right, right, right. Okay, um, this is another video. Okay, oh, skin is so oily. Oh, I'm not yet low on here. Oh, guys, or is it the camera fooling me? Okay, now I am getting to the like the end of the song. I call it guys, the end of any song when it came to my relationship with this Zulu guy. It's very painful. And but I'm okay now. That happened months ago. I'm okay now. As you can see, the girl is fresh, the girl is alive. So Nam Kanje, I am drinking a bottle of fruit, ruby red apple. Ruby red apple. So. Ruby apple. Yeah, yeah. It's not sponsored, guys. I bought it with my own money because I need a z I'll go to this story because it's not really um please don't forget to go to my videos and watch i think i posted two videos before this one so please go and watch show some love and comment guys please please it's important to go to comment so that I hear and you know know where to change and what's wrong and what to improve you get so please guys don't forget to comment and um, like my videos and look at my local TV are aiming to reach 1,000 subscribers on YouTube get before the end of this year which we have like two months to do so so please don't forget to share with your friends and yeah okay let's get to what we have for Okay, so your relationship, your relationship, guys, it has its ups and downs, and I also had my ups and downs with this guy. So the relationship got to a point where it became very abusive emotionally and physically, as I've said on my previous review. Guys, I need to calm down. I'm afraid that I might even cry because, wow, show this guy. Wow. Okay, I scroll up. So, um, okay, I think I've talked about how emotional draining he, it was and what he did with the emotional draining, you know, when this thing, like, when you this thing, if a person is making a fool out of you, nah, it emotionally damages my emotions inside, you know, so that's how it was emotionally draining so i'm going to talk about the physical part now so it got to a point that it gets really really physical my first incident was um we went out i was at this place we went out um to ease by night 
it was on a weekend and we went out so um i'm gonna explain why after okay i'm gonna say oh, okay i was wearing blue jeans with a white top and a red bag and the reason why i'm saying this is because there were girls who were dressed the way i was and those girls were with his friends note that keep that in mind fine we went out and we enjoyed so the plan was after going out i'm gonna sleep at my place so he's gonna drop me off at my place and he's gonna go to his place right fine so we went out and it was time for us to go home so i need to i've said with the like main street so everybody passes there right right So Sifike Sime Apanda Eadin, we packed outside and I'm going to try and speak in English, you know. So we packed outside and um, we were talking, you know, oh, it was nice, dun, 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 dun. we were just having a conversation as a boyfriend and girlfriend, you know. And then comes a car that was driven by his friend. His friend was a lawyer, so he had a, a nice car. And you know, girls would throw themselves at him because he apparently the girls have money. Apparently, and yes. <laughs> okay, so he the car, the car came, and because he knows Kutoko is his car, he obviously is gonna like hoot or stop so they can have a conversation. Okay, fine. So he told me to go. Okay, okay, baby, bye bye. Okay, let me talk to these guys. Fine. Okay, sharp. Okay, we I kissed. I kissed him and then went outside the car and go and okay before i get into the gate before the gate one of the girls knew me me the girls that were in his friend's car and he, she was dressed just like me she had a white top and jeans the co the, the coincidence and um um and he, she greeted, hi, Akona, and then I replied, hi, you know, and then I went inside. So they, I don't ask you what happened after then, because then I didn't leave. A few minutes later, I received a call. Why, 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 why was that, that girl greeting me? I'm like, what do you mean? She knows me. Obviously, he was mad. They came me back to fetch you. You're going with them, isn't it? Get up. Okay. Did you know that's not that, that's not sorry. That's not gonna happen. Like we're not even friends with the girl. I'm not going anywhere with her. She was just greeting me. I'm explaining myself and which is the truth. She just knew me and we were not going anywhere with her. And she, he called again. Boom. Guys. I, I when I got into the house, I wanted to take a shower so bad. So the first thing I did was take off my clothes and wrap myself in a towel. So the time he calls saying I should come out, I was already wrapped in a towel. We get fine, and then I went outside. I left my phone in the bed and didn't lock, close the door of my room. The door of my room. And then I went outside. I didn't even close the gate. And there were dogs there. I thought he wanted to see if I'm still like I'm at I'm at home, you know. And I got into the car and he was mad. Ukut what was said to him, I don't know. Ukut what I did, I don't know, guys. Mind you, I said this guy's insecure and he's Zulu and they jealous. Fine. And there was a okay, there was a there was a guy that was working at Clicks at that time. I don't know if he still works there. I don't even know his name. So the guy was sitting in front of the friend's car. And he had before suspected that I um I'm dating the guy because he had confronted me, Guti, am I dating this guy? And I said, I don't even know this guy. Guys, these are these are his friends. The guy is friends with his friends. So they have mutual friends. The new new guy and him have mutual friends. So I'm now I am his girlfriend. I don't know anything about these guys, you know? Fine. And we had music A. Why was she greeting me? I'm like, she knows me. 
I say this very same story I said on the phone. She was greeting me. There is no way she could see me and not greet me. Especially because now in Disney, now in Wobu. So you want people not to greet me, you know? Uh, you're making me a fool. Um, they, they, were, they, were, they were coming to fetch you. Guys, I live on the main street, on the main road. And he's like, um, you said they should come and fetch you. Hence, you wanted to sleep at your place. And this, like, me sleeping at my place was an argument we made while we were still at his place. We could say, after a groove, I'm going to my place and he's going to his place. And now it's me who wanted to come to my place. Um, and then, um, okay, he started getting, uh, he was furious. He was fuming, actually. He was fuming, and and when he's mad, I can't hear what he says. So I'll be saying, hey, hey, quite a lot of times, you know, and that will make him even more angry. So he was angry, and he was talking, and I couldn't hear him. So he started slapping me, guys. I received my first slap from a Zulu guy. <clears throat> Hence, date a Zulu guy at your own risk. A Zulu guy slapped me. I'm father, I'm fine. And it was really not nice. Guys, Ukubane, um, like, you feel like the fingers are still here, but they're not. So, like, I think I had, not I think, I had, actually, Iminoyake on my face when I got into the house. That's during the spring. I saw Iminoyake. And it was really not nice. And, I, I, I froze. froze and i didn't know what to say what to do <sighs> guys oh it was really not nice and for the fact that i was not like replying or saying anything to him back when he was asking made him even more angry because he was like i'm asking you and on pen and mind you i can't even hear him at that time so this opinion i'm eating because if it depends on what i think he's saying it's gonna make me like seem like he made a mistake so it was best for me to like not say anything but that made him more angry fine and was that more i'm like no don't go nanshi because you're mad and once again we're gonna fight so what's the use of you taking me to your place if it's your just leave me here and then i'm anyway if you look here because so you can go there smelling fresh and all of that i'm like what the hell guys the car his friend's car was already full Guys, the girl that was greeting me was sitting on top of someone. So, like, the fuck? What's uh, His friend, apparently, okay, now that he's mad, his friend is now my friend. Yeah, the friend is gonna um, hook you up with the new guy. Uh, you guys are gonna, you guys are dating. So, Jimmy span up. I'm like, the fuck? You know? I'm lost, guys. I am really lost. Like, it doesn't make sense at all to me. And I have these facial expressions. Guys, I have these facial expressions. You know, and when he looks at me, I have this facial expression on. And I think that made him more angry. Because that's what he was saying. Guys, the fog was that motto did you know don't drive with me to share up a cafe but but drive motor and guys the end i remember now but that i'm just wrapping it away because james was done and i had a necklace on and my watch i think and then as he was driving i tried getting out a cuba because if you go into that house you are gonna come out dead because he had, he had once said if he found out if he finds out that i'm cheating on him or i am dating someone else he's gonna kill me that's what he said he said it while he was drunk we were both drunk actually and we would laugh about it and that's really not nice because those are red flags those are red flags and you should uh not ignore such things 
So at that time, I felt like if I go with this guy, he probably might kill me, you know, because he was mad, guys. He was driving the car really mad, and the young So I opened the the car while he was driving, trying to jump out because I was not going to go home with him. And as I opened the car, he was trying to he was trying to hold me like like this, but get off making a chain up and then what I'm chaining. And then he, what he, he's driving at that time, Ali Cheney and in my mini Nyama, like trying to pull me inside the car, and he managed. Oh, so and now I'm crying. I'm crying, but I'm I'm not crying because we're in bed. I'm crying because I'm allowing this to happen, and I understand. I know good. There was nothing I could do to not allow it. You understand, like. I don't know if that makes sense. I, I'm crying because I'm allowing it to happen to me. And I know in relationship is abusive. I've, I've experienced my friends, my sisters being in abusive relationships and it's not nice. So the thing that, what makes me cry is the fact that I am allowing to be part of, to be a victim as well. And he stopped the car and then he opened his, his door and he walked. And I don't understand because the moment he gets out of the car, I'm obviously going to get out and run. So that's what happened actually. Because when he opened the door, he op when he opened it, oh, it's when he opened his door, I opened my door and went out running. And at that time, the towel has, it's, it's loose now. I need to like fix it before I run. So he got out the car and I also got out and I wrapped my uh, tights in the towel and ran. Guys, I am running. 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 I I'm like, okay, fine, okay. That's before. Calls. He, 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 he. Complaining, you know, swearing at me. And I'd, I'd drop the phone and he calls me. Like, that was what happened the whole night, guys. Like, literally the whole night. So I'm thinking, if I was going to go with these guys, why was I answering his call, you know? And it's when he calls, you get fine. Okay. That incident passed. Fine. And then he came back, he apologized because Niam Tanda, which is wrong, guys. Guys, let's not settle. Being relationship is abusive. It's really not nice. And I do not wish that on anybody's child. No one turned you on, not even on my worst enemy. I don't wish an abusive relationship on anybody because it's really not nice. That thing is oh horrible. Okay, fine. He apologized. And sorry. And we were cool, okay. And then the relationship went back to its high peak. Mandy. We have lunch together every day after work. Okay, every day during lunch time at work. Fetches me, like it's the same thing again. Command. And if Fundanga from that experience, because Kuto, once a person starts, who is with Magabuye, the guys? Fana no. Once a person starts, who is with Magabuye? And I think for the fact that he. He, he 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 beat me up and I didn't do anything about it. It was easy for him to do it again because he knew what I needed in the Like chances are I need in the So the relationship was good again. Everything was fine. And then a friend of mine, Anneli Siwe, wanted us to go to George. There was a gig apple and Oscar Mo was coming. And um, we were gonna go with the DJs, as I said before this. It was just us two. So, why would I wanna go on a gig 
with guys only, with just my friend. And he knew about it. And everybody was talking about it before they was to go to the judge, this is what, what's gonna happen with Oscar Mbong, dun, dun, dun. people were planning to go, but the only people that managed to go there before the rest, because I'm not like, as I said, in the before this, mm. so we knew each other. So the only group that managed to go to that gig was us and the DJs, my friend and I, and the DJs. So people were talking about it, like, we're talking about it, and obviously, when they're talking about it, he obviously had or around those people talking about it fine and he the event was on the 26th of march <clears throat> it was march or feb between the and then we managed to go we managed to go it was 26th of february i remember because yeah so we okay he promised to give me money for the event okay to enjoy a judge but yeah, because I want to be meeting that cool and event, and now I'm serious. Just as a way of her, he didn't give me the money. He promised me the money. He said, "Which is a man and was on Sunday and all of that." But he didn't. So I went there with um. I the, was an expense to an see But I've said to her before, "Which I have not your mind." I've even explained to my boyfriend, "Which I'm not but I wanna go." But it was on this. It was on deep. And my friend was like, "No, fine. It's no friend. It's fine. We can go." When I was on the transport, you know, like guys, that's on the transport, yeah, and then we went. So we went there on Friday, and then the event was on Saturday. So on Friday, he's like, okay, he started getting sick again because of ulcers. And then when there was corona, and corona, he be trigger is out, he also was like, he's out. The corona was triggered his his ulcers, so on Friday he was sick. Guys, he was drinking the whole week, and then on Friday he was getting he started getting sick, and then now I have to cancel my trip for him. When when Anissa and the guys came to fetch me, he was like, Ah, oh, you leaving me? Go to Nyakula, but you claim to love me. Dun, 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 dun. All the time, guys. Imagine when he starts getting it starts getting it starts getting, it starts getting sick. So I need to cancel my plans for him, but he can't cancel his plans for me. You get what I'm saying? Hello, Brenda. <laughs> Side game. Did that happen? Yeah, I'm done now. It was about right because medication on the so you know what to do. You all, bro. We have a 13 year old child, so this is. The hamburger guys, I left him sick on the couch. Left. So he and then uh, uh, when we got there on Friday, we started at the beach. So he beaching, we took pictures, and then we couldn't swim. I don't. Uh, oh, they the, the the boys swam. The boys swam. And none, no baby girl, we're taking pictures, you know, all of them all cute and stuff. But, hey guys, you know, good to ish. When you're a good photographer, you can't get good photographer friends as well. So, my pictures, my. And she posted her pictures, and I couldn't post my pictures because my pictures were. Oh. Fine, okay. And we went to the event. The event was amazing. This is a VIP. We saw Oscar, we saw him perform, and yeah, it was amazing. We could mind them. And then, on okay, we went back home, had, had a party, you know, we could mind because I enjoyed that trip. I needed that trip because my relationship was giving me goose, it was giving me a lost throw, as Z would say. Uh, and then on Sunday, we were. We, we live in George for before the rest. On Sunday, I received a call from a baby on our way back to before the rest. He's telling me he's hungry. Guys, that I feel like he wanted us to, to like are you. What would you call a person you know is coming from George? So go to Lambie. What is she supposed to watch at that time? What so what was I supposed to do? You know? Guys, I got KFC. My aunt is here and she left me in KC, so I'm gonna be eating and talking. 
excuse the sound and you know all of that so he calls me this is everywhere i go to he's hungry so what must i do you know when you think about it you get it. fine okay and he calls, he calls non-stop because i think he was he was a little bit drunk so he called me non-stop if not you know that and then we got to be for this when i get to be for this i changed my outfit very fast and then went to where he was and then i'm like let's go let's go to kfc or something so you can get something to eat he's like no why don't you go home why don't you go home and cook and then i'm like why don't you cook for yourself uh, no, no, i'm not gonna do that guys because i was already tipsy as well so i was like nah bro it's not gonna happen mark me absent i am not gonna do that it's either we go to kfc get something to eat or shut up and leave until we leave later shut up a easy by night and until we go later let's go and leave because i'm not gonna go around with anything because one thing i know he wasn't gonna go and drop me he was gonna drop he was gonna do, go and drop me off and go back go to your corner you get ah ah so i shall then and then later on like my son had to go to them we went to go to them and we ate and then we went back enjoyed and enjoyed and then he started getting mad so people were talking about you guys going to be for next to them and then you can't do it was just the two of you why did that happen why did that happen why was it supposed to happen with my father <laughs> So yeah. Okay guys. Thank you so much for thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the last part of the video, the last part of the series. And um yeah, don't forget to subscribe, share and also watch my other videos. Um thank you so much and also don't forget to follow me on my socials. Magazi underscore nine nine and Akonaya on Facebook and please feel free to comment like suggest and yeah thank you